There it is. Isn't that crazy? So there you go, guys. There's a little bit of difference. This is a just a quick little video demonstration of how you can use fuzzy skin to uh, really enhance your 3D prints. Uh, basically, I designed my own little canister that has a couple TPU inserts, um, which I'll explain later. Uh, but basically, I tried out the fuzzy skin at a basic dimension. Um, and I believe it was the 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.125, and 0.8 fuzzy skin uh, in the experimental. Um, so it gives it kind of a nice rough finish, as you can kind of see here. I'll try and hold it up to the camera better. Let's see if it will enhance. It was doing okay earlier. There it is. So it gives it that nice, kind of a really rough texture. So I wanted to experiment with the different levels and how it can really change. And a good example of these caps that I made for the exact same thing. So this one here in the middle, this one was the one that I printed at the same measurement at 0.3, at 0.25, at 0.8. Um, and what um, those numbers, uh, what I'm talking about there, uh, if you have jumped into your Cura settings or uh, any of your other slicer settings, you should be having an experimental um, part of there. And it will show you um, that you can activate fuzzy skin just by clicking on the fuzzy skin tab. You know, it will bring it up there. And then you can reset all these to be uh, the fuzzy skin outside only, which is definitely what I recommend when you're doing this type of object. Um, and then you have your thickness, your density, and your distance. And those are the three numbers that I've been going through and changing. Um, so this is what the standard one will look like. So you've got the 0.3, which is the same as this at uh, 125.8 so this gives you kind of a nice basic texture to it nothing too aggressive as you can see from the other prints on the table um, and then i went down one so this is uh, a little bit less of a texture on it which is still kind of nice though it kind of gives it a little bit of something um let's see if i can find a way for it to there it is so it's got a little bit of a rough texture. You can see it's not as aggressive. And for the number on this one, this was at 0.2, 1.2, and then the automatic defaults the distance to 8333. So that was that one. <clears throat> Leave these up. So you can kind of see the comparison numbers as they go up in value. Next one up. Again, got the fuzzy skin, a little bit more aggressive feel to it. You can definitely feel it more. Um, but again, this is only the third one up, so we're getting a little more aggressive as the texture goes. Um, but if this camera would be nice. And kind of capture this, please. There it is. So it's really cool. It gives it that little bit of edge. And what I do notice that as the layers get more aggressive, the outside perimeter of the cap actually starts to get a little bit more fuzzier edges that you can see. And so that one was at 0 0.6 and then 1.0, 1.0. That was actually the second cap I made, but it was actually um, third in the series as it goes up from bigger, worse to more aggressive. Um, this one was at 0.8, and then I changed the um, I changed the uh, density, the middle number, uh, to 1.5, and then it defaulted it to 0 0.6667. So this is V3. Again, you can kind of see how much of a rough texture is by looking at the bottom. 
it gives you a really cool finish. And there it is. So it's kind of a cool finish. It like kind of basically blobs it. So what's happening is the nozzle is kind of shaking, vibrating, you know, putting it in two different spots. So that was that one point eight. Then I jumped up a little bit higher. I didn't go too crazy with the numbers. I just kind of wanted to keep going up a little bit. So this is 1.0, 2.0, and then 0.5. So this kind of gives it a nice texture, but it doesn't give it so much height, so much, uh, so much, um, not height, but uh, um, not, it's not so, not so thick, is what I should say, of a uh, rough fuzziness. And this one's kind of cool because this one, like I said, it's not super thick in comparison to the other fuzzy skins, but it gives it a nice texture still. And this one gives it a little bit tighter. As you can see, all the little fuzzy pieces are all a little bit more tighter and knit together than the last one. I don't know if you can actually see much of a difference between the two if it will go back to the focus. Yeah. So as they go up, you can definitely notice a little bit of difference. Uh, once you get to the more extreme ones, obviously it gets a little crazier. So this is at 1.5, 1.25, and then 0.8. So you can see now the difference here is all of these fuzzies are really getting farther away. And you get a little bit more aggressive and tighter knit fuzziness to it. So that's pretty cool. This one is almost one of my favorites, I believe. I might use this one in my future projects. Um, and it gives it a neat pattern on the top. Really cool. Again, this is all printed in the Polymaker um, lightweight PLA in green, of course. Now, this one's a little different. This one was um, less fuzzy, per se, because the density was so much higher up. Um, but this is 1.25, 1.25 at 2. So the distance is still far away. The density is really high, which gives it really close. And then, um, yeah, the fuzziness. So this one's kind of neat. I really like this one too. It's really different. Kind of gives it a nice texture. It's very unique. Um, but yeah, really cool pattern. And the last but not least, I only did eight. I was going to do 10, but uh, I got to this point and I was very happy with the end result on this one. This is a 2.5.8 density and then 1.25 away. So hairy as like the nozzle moves away from the object and uh, gives it a nice density. So it still kind of gives it a really close fuzzy skin style to it. This one I really like as well. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use this one a lot, but I definitely think this would be a cool print uh, for objects or whatever design you come up with. But uh, yeah, this one doesn't really want to focus on this one very well. Huh. Come on, focus. There it is. There it is. Stay with it. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool looking? So you can see how much density. It could probably go even up in density or lower in density, which make it tighter. But I think this is really cool, the way that this uh, experimental function works. Um, again, if you look at the bottom detail, you can see how much farther away from the model it is. And if you want to go back 
to our very first fuzzy skin that I showed off. The difference is phenomenal. If it will focus. But you can already see the difference in distance. Come on, Logitech. There it is. Isn't that crazy? So there you go, guys. There's a little bit of difference on the uh, development of fuzzy skin on 3D prints. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Check that out. And uh, yeah, we'll go back over here to the window for you. Experimental. And yeah, play with the numbers. Enjoy it. And uh, show me what you got. Make your cool models. And uh, yeah, check you guys later.